In this first lesson on inheritance in Java, you'll learn how methods are inherited by subclasses from their superclasses. Important facts about inheriting methods. A class that inherits is called a subclass. In this diagram, tiger is a subclass of animal. A class that is inherited from is called a superclass. Animal is a superclass of tiger. Subclasses are in an is-a relationship with their superclass. We can say tiger is a animal. A Java class can have many subclasses, but only one superclass. In this updated diagram, both tiger and bear are subclasses of animal. Anything with a private modifier, like a field or method, is not inherited, but can be indirectly accessed from a subclass. Here we have an example of a worker class. The worker class does not explicitly extend anything, so it is not explicitly a subclass. However, it implicitly extends object, so it is a subclass of the Java object class. The extends keyword is how we tell Java that the class we are writing is a subclass of another class. Any class where we don't explicitly use the extends keyword implicitly becomes a subclass of the Java object class. Worker has two methods. Do work is a public method, which means one, it will be inherited by subclasses, and two, it can be directly accessed from other classes. Earn minimum wage is a private method, which means one, it will not be inherited by subclasses, and two, it can't be directly accessed from other classes. Our next class is tradesperson. Tradesperson is a subclass of worker. Tradesperson inherits do work, but will not inherit the private earn minimum wage. Additionally, tradesperson will add a new method, do skilled work. Our third class is carpenter. Carpenter is a subclass of tradesperson. Carpenter will indirectly inherit do work, directly inherit do skilled work, and add its own method do woodwork. To clarify the relationships, worker is a object, tradesperson is a worker, carpenter is a tradesperson. Let's look at a new class, worksite. Worksite is not in an inheritance relationship with worker, tradesperson, or carpenter. We've declared a worker variable, Alex, and initialized it with a new instance of the worker class. If we tried to call alex.earnMinimumWage from the worksite class, we'd get an error. Earn minimum wage is private, so it can only be called from another method inside the worker class. However, we can call do work from Alex. Indirectly, we are calling the private method earnMinimumWage, which is okay because the actual call happens inside the worker class. The output will be does unskilled work and earns minimum wage. Let's look at the next class, worksite2. We've got worker Alex initialized as a new worker. Tradesperson Barbara initialized as a new tradesperson. Carpenter Carol initialized as a new carpenter. For Alex, calling do work is legal because do work is public and thus accessible in the worksite2 class. For Barbara, calling do work is also legal because the method is directly inherited. For Carol, calling do work is legal because the method is indirectly inherited. Let's look at a final class, worksite 3. Again, Alex is a worker, Barbara is a tradesperson, and Carol is a carpenter. It is illegal for the Alex variable, which is pointing at a worker object, to call the do woodwork method. Superclasses can't inherit from subclasses, so a worker object can't access the do woodwork method in the carpenter class. For the same reason, Barbara, which points at a tradesperson object, also can't access the do woodwork method. The Carol variable points at an instance of carpenter, so it can call the do woodwork method. If you want to keep learning, click on the thumbnail for the next video. Otherwise, check out the full Java playlist. See you soon.